Okay, so if you've seen my other video, you uh, would know that I got, you know, an OEM uh, top feed fuel conversion for my Subaru Outback. Today we're going to be working on the uh, TGV deletes. So if you don't know, uh, this is a TGV. Uh, it's just like a butterfly valve, kind of like a choke. Um, it's closed for like the first 30 seconds of startup and then afterwards it opens up. But there's still this obstruction in here. And if you look at it from the bottom, you can see that this plate goes all the way to the top to the uh, the pin in the butterfly valve. So um, even when it's open, there's still kind of a large obstruction of airflow. So what a lot of people do when they're uh, you know taking their intake manifold off for one reason or another is they will uh, replace these uh, assemblies with an assembly that doesn't have this center bit in it, and it's just straight through. Uh, and that's what you call a TGV delete. So these are your TGVs. Without those things in them, it's a TGV delete. Now, since I have to do a top feed fuel conversion so I can run bigger injectors on my car, um, I bought these TGVs from a 2011 Subaru WRX. Uh, 2008 to 2014 WRXs have the same motor that's in the 2005 to 2009 Outback XTs and, and Legacy GT. Uh, with the exception of a few minor things, one of those minor things is they have top feed fuel injectors instead of the side feed injectors that are in the Outbacks and Legacies. So as a kind of a cheap way of getting a top feed conversion, I just bought a whole intake manifold assembly, pretty much just for the fuel rails and the TGVs right here. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, I'll put a card up here. Uh, you can go check that one out. But uh, you know, basically, it's just a cheap way of doing a fuel top feed fuel conversion. So it's not just a minor power upgrade in uh, upgrading these to you know TGV deletes or deleting them yourself. Uh, I've seen people get like 20 horsepower with just deleting the TGVs. It's definitely worth the work and it's definitely worth the price if you buy them. But um, I like to do things on a budget. I know a lot of you guys do too. So I'm going to do it myself and you know we're going to get the same power gains. going to be a little less pretty but it'll still get the job done. So if you look at this one uh, you can see this... Uh, the motor that controls it has been removed. Um, now this one over here still has the motor on there and you can see where the uh, harness plugs into it and controls it. So the first steps is to uh, remove these motors. Why are you barking at everything I do? So in doing this modification to your car, it's gonna throw a check engine light and uh, I know to avoid that, some people will remove um, just the valve itself, but you still have the main obstruction because when the car's operating, it's it's fully open, and that butterfly valve is not doing much, but you still have that big pin in the center, and that, that's obstructing the flow. So you don't really get that much of an upgrade from doing that. It's kind of just a waste of time. But um, I think some other people also, you know, find other ways to just plug the motor on there and then it thinks it's operating correctly. But the easiest way to do it is if you have a ROM Raider system or your tuner in general, um, they can go into the software the, on the computer and they can like shut off that certain check engine code. So uh, probably the easiest way and that's what I'm going to be doing anyways. So you got to go see a tuner uh, if you're going to do TGV deletes because you need to tune for the increased fuel flow. Uh, you might as well have them delete the code while you're in there too. So I'm gonna try to remove these without stripping them out. Um, so hopefully this impact will be helpful and not hurt it. Okay, well that didn't work. It just busted the head of that off. I'm probably gonna have to drill that out. Okay, so. Uh, I think where I went wrong on that is is the bottom of these screws are a little bit mushroomed out. So uh, I think the best way to go about this is to cut the base of the screw off so that it threads out without stripping like that. This one that I already messed up, I'm probably going to have to drill that out. Okay, let's try that out. Pretty sure you guys have seen this technique before.
All right, that one came out. Oh, never mind. That one's stripped out too, just a little bit lower. So it looks like I'm not going to get away from uh, drilling these out. So, uh, yeah, let's just uh, send these ones home, I guess. There we go. Uh, so I'm just going to get this stuff cleaned up real quick and then I'll be back with you guys. Okay, so once you remove this cover, you'll see that there's this little fin in there. Um, I need to hammer this out with a, a screwdriver. Stop barking, Fang. tap I guess come on you could do it let's go come on there we go now you can see that center bridge right there uh, and you also can tell you have a hole you need to fill. So that's the bit of metal I had to cut out. Alright, so now that I got the, these pieces cut out, you can see down in there there's like some, uh, some raised bits. Those need to get um, dremeled off so you can see it better from here. We just need to make that a smooth like curve uh, inside and out and then uh, there's also like a lip in here so there's that lip you can see inside that needs to get smoothed out too so I'm pretty much going to be grinding that off I also need to get a bolt that fits in that hole right there and uh, stick it in there with some JB weld to get that going and then I can smooth it out right there as well. If you look down there, you can see I got the bolts um, JB welded in. Um, you can look at that side and that side. So uh, now I am going to use this kind of bit for the Dremel. It's like a high speed cutting bit um, to remove the, uh, the ridge that was left over from cutting that vein out of the center. And I'm also going to knock down this this ledge right here that the old butterfly valve used to sit on. Okay, so if you take a look here, I got this one completely done and this one is just factory. So like I said before, we cut out this center rib Plug that hole uh, and I ground down this ridge that the butterfly valve seats on and then kind of came through with a uh, 80 grit flap disc and then a 120 grit polishing uh, thingy it's like a scotch bright thing for the Dremel and clean this up so you don't want to mirror polish anything intake related because you kind of want a little bit of turbulence for um, like fuel air mixture but um, you can see a lot more open, a lot better flow. Um, I think all I'm going to do now after this is I'm going to try to figure out a way to clean off some of this corrosion. I was thinking about doing sandblasting, but I don't know if there's a uh, a medium that's fine enough to not like 
completely damage the the finish that it already has but yeah comparing it to this um, so that's what it looks like open compared to that I'll hold it up to the light so not much of a difference but it's 10 horsepower worth of a difference <laughs> 